The Fantasy Skirmisher. Hey everyone, this is Nevin and welcome back to The Fantasy Skirmisher. Today we're just going to do a very quick review on this Icons of the Realm 50th Anniversary Classic Red Dragon. So this uh, Red Dragon, I was on the cover of the uh, Blue Book D&D First Edition uh, Basic Set, uh, which I received as a Christmas gift when I was a teenager. So this was uh, my introduction uh, to D&D and for role-playing games for that matter. And uh, it was David Sutherland uh, painted uh, the, the uh, cover, not only the box, uh, but also uh, this also adorns the cover of the rule book as well. So let's go ahead and read this. The D&D Icons of the Realm's 50th Anniversary Classic Red Dragon is modeled after its D&D first edition likeness from the original monster manual and cover of the first edition basic box set. This dragon is a true callback to the early years of D&D and is ready to terrorize your table. Combine the classic red dragon with miniatures from the D&D Icons of the Realm's 50th Anniversary Booster Set to recreate iconic encounters. For me, this was strictly a nostalgic purchase because, uh, you know, I just absolutely, you know, loved the D&D box set that I got, even though the rules were a bit obtuse, you know, at the time. And uh, when I saw this, it was, you know, something I had to have. But to be honest, it's been on pre-order for so long, I almost forgot that I had pre-ordered it. And I was quite surprised to get it in the mail um, yesterday. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, one of my intentions, besides just having this as a uh, keepsake and maybe a uh, shelf decoration, is to actually use it in my gaming. But one thing I noticed is that this dragon looks rather small. I was expecting something bigger. And so we'll take a look and compare it to some minis. And I'm going to turn off the camera because I need to cut the strap and stuff. All right. It seats well in the plastic uh, holder. And it, uh, yep, that looks like my dragon. Very nice model. Love how it's just uh, sitting on a pile of gold here. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm happy with this purchase, with one exception. It is a little small. So just let me, I was just hoping it would be um, at least an inch or two higher because uh, he looks like a rather young dragon. So let me get a couple of miniatures and that way you could see the scale. And I guess there's nothing wrong with using him as a young dragon, but I just wanted something a little more larger and epic because look at the cover uh, right here. So it looks like, uh, you know, the dragon's bigger encountering this wizard and the uh, archer, right? All right, so I've got uh, a mini from North Star uh, for Frostgrave and uh, Reaper uh, Crusader Knight. And so you could just see what they look like as far as the scale. Let's yeah, see if we can move in here. So, I mean, it's a formidable dragon. It's just, I uh, wish it was just a little bit bigger. And also a quick comparison to my Dungeon Saga Dragon, which has a really good classic old school look as well. But you kind of see here, just a comparison. And I measured this, this is about, you know, two and three quarters inches. So just under uh, three inches uh, high at the neck there. So overall, I am happy with it. Uh, it's well painted. Um, it's well sculpted. It looks just like the dragon that I grew up with. And it's about time. We had to wait 50 years. Oh my God, that ages me. Okay. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time on the Fantasy Scripture. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.